Nowadays, thoughtful multinationals are stripping away the trimmings to give us, the public, some long overdue value. You can save yourself a few quid on food by going for the stuff that comes in black and white boxes. And you can now fly for 20 quid without having to sponsor a fully licensed food trolley. Have you got a ticket to Amsterdam, please? And if you want a car that will start, stop and move all on the same day, there are a gathering band of contenders under six grand. Not everyone will have heard of Perodua. So you may not know they're from Malaysia and responsible for selling the cheapest, most miserable car in Britain, the Nipper. However, in October they launched a second car over here which aimed to change all that by being a little more expensive. The Canari is a mini MPV which Perodua claims has world-class design. And in a funny way, it has. Not just anyone can come up with something that looks this special. But Perodua have dug very deep to come up with this. And you can't knock what you get for the £5,925 asking price. Central locking, twin airbags, power steering, CD player, rear wash wipe, electric front windows, two-year warranty, balaclava, change of identity. Performance is an irrelevance, but you may as well know it comes the one litre engine which Perodio describe as being cheeky. Which actually means you've got to thrash it to within an inch of its life to get anywhere. Performances don't come much more cheeky. Every one of your three mates will fit into it and so will a bit of shopping. So there you go, job done. It goes, it stops, it's got airbags. If it had the looks, then life on a shoestring wouldn't get much better than this. But it's not quite that easy. Not when you can get a racy Fiat badge and Euro-friendly styling for the same money. This is the revised version of the Fiat Seicento, which will be available in UK showrooms from the beginning of January. Starting at £5,870, it looks every inch the Euro City slicker. It's no less basic than the Canari, but it's altogether more streetwise in its approach. The revamp has given it larger bumpers, clear lens covers for the indicators, and a circular Fiat badge. Whoopie do. The thing of real importance is the new 1.1 litre engine under the bonnet. Again, performance isn't a priority, but it is quicker than the Canari, and you can actually convince yourself, shifting through the five speed gearbox, that it's fairly zippy. I quite like this basic no frills interior. It's neatly laid out without feeling too cheap. We've got power steering, driver's airbag, and even the luxury of a rear wash wipe. As before, it does everything you need, but this time behind the more acceptable face of Euro motoring. But there's a problem. Attached to the price tag is a £675 on-the-road surcharge, taking the Seicento above our £6,000 limit. So what's the alternative? Back to Asia for a Wendy house on wheels? Not quite, because if you're after a cheap new car that doesn't immediately save budget, it comes in the shape of the Citroen Saxo First. That's right. This tidy-looking French hatchback has recently been chopped by a grand and can be yours for £5,995. And for that, you'll get a perfectly acceptable three-door, which won't have you hiding under the dashboard as you chug through town. You can't describe this new 1.1-litre engine as potent, but it is the quickest. 30 miles an hour is a reality, and 60 miles an hour a distinct possibility. And of the bunch, this is the one which most readily lends itself to motorway driving. It doesn't distinguish itself inside, but the interior, for the most part, is inoffensive. Oh, I forgot about those seats. But it has room for four adults and comes the driver's airbag and radio cassette. I've actually got quite a lot of time for people who buy cars like these. I mean, when it comes to town driving, who are the real monkeys? Those who buy cheap, small, practical cars or those who buy big V8 off-roaders? The Citroen Saxo First does it all for the money and you won't have to skulk away from it in the car park. Mind you, if you're thinking about buying any of these cars, make sure you've pulled first. <laughs>